Hi there and welcome to Yum Paleo. Today we're going to be making a tomato and eggplant soup. So I'll just run through what we've got here quickly. So I've just halved two eggplants here and I've put them on this baking tray ready to go in the oven. And I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 200 degrees Celsius. So they'll be going in there for around 40 minutes or just until you can see they're getting nice and roasted. And along with that, I've got 10 cloves of garlic and I've got six large tomatoes, which I've halved, along with two onions, which I've halved as well. So these will all be going into the oven and roasting along with, I've got a small handful of chopped fresh thyme there. And I'm gonna be adding that into here with some olive oil as well. So to first start off with, just put all these ingredients in a bowl. It's gonna drizzle Probably about two tablespoons of oil in that. Sprinkle that thyme over. And also what I'm going to do is add in that garlic as well. I'm also just going to put a pinch of pepper and a tiny bit of salt, not too much. Now great, just mix all that in with your hands, make sure Everything gets mixed well. It doesn't matter too much as this is going to be blended in the end anyway. It's just to give it that nice roasted flavor in the soup. Now in the soup, I've also got a can of coconut cream, which will be going again at the end, and four cups of chicken stock. Okay, they're nicely covered now. Just give my hands a little rinse. So now I'm just going to drizzle some oil over these. Actually, I'm just going to add a bit of oil into this cup here and brush it onto these. So give a really nice layer of olive oil onto these. Okay, great, so I've covered all the eggplant in the oil. What I'm going to do now is just place these tomatoes and onion onto this tray here. Now you can just place them any way you want, just make sure they've all got enough space. Now check on all your vegetables around about halfway through the roasting process, so about 20 minutes in, and just see how they're doing. You might need to move them around slightly and just check nothing's burning. Now I've put the eggplant on a different a different tray just in case if it didn't fit. But actually it might, it might fit onto this tray. So yeah, I might put them all on one tray for now. Just make sure you get all of those herbs onto everything. So I'm just going to move these over actually. Great, so we've got all of our ingredients on the tray now. And all we have to do now is pop it in the oven for at about 40 minutes and I'll see you after that and we can get ready on putting it in a pot and starting to blend and add in the stock and the cream. So I'll see you soon. Hi there and welcome back. So I've already taken all the vegetables out of the oven. So they were sitting in there for about 40 minutes and they browned off really nice. So what I've just done is I've placed them all inside this bowl here and I'm just going to put them into this pot here. So I'm just going to add all, everything in here along with, I'm going to put in half of the chicken stock at the moment and then reintroduce it as it simmers on the stove behind me, along with the coconut milk. So we just add all of this into this pot. Then, like I said, I'm just going to add about half of this chicken stock. Mm. 
Yeah, a bit more. And then, just going to put it onto the stove behind and let it simmer for about, I don't know, around about five to ten minutes, just to let it heat through. And then we're going to use, I'm going to use a stick blender and just run that through as it's heating up and then slowly introduce the coconut cream as well into that. So I'll see you back when we get ready to serve. Hi there and welcome back. So I've just finished blending the soup. So what I did, I just let it sit there on the stove for about five to 10 minutes and just let it boil through. And then I used my hand blender to just whiz it at the bottom for a bit. And then all of the ingredients just blended through really nicely. So I've just put one in a bowl here and it is smelling fantastic. So I really hope you enjoy that and I'll see you here for another great recipe. See you soon.